We're here this morning, uh, myself and Finn Flanagan, MLAs, along with Patter Tobin here in Belfast, to take evidence uh, in terms of an Arachnus inquiry that Patter Tobin uh, is charged with uh, taking evidence for looking into the issues of an all island economy, the barriers to all island business, what is needed to be done to try and improve the, the all island economy, what, uh, what, what advice has been given from various organisations who operate on an all island basis uh, to make an improvement in that regard and to get this issue uh, back up the political agenda as it seems to have slipped down in recent years. So we took evidence this morning from business organisations, from trade unionists. Uh, the, the pattern has taken evidence in recent days both in, uh, in Derry in the North West uh, and in the border areas as well. Uh, and this will co come together to be put into a report for the Arachnus Committee uh, in the Dáil, which will then be forwarded to Ministers North and South and hopefully present a course of action which needs to be taken by both the Assembly and the Executive and by the Dáil as well and the, the Government in the South to try and improve all Ireland economic links. Well, this is part of a long-term investigation that we're doing into the All Ireland Economy on behalf of the Enterprise Jobs and Innovation uh, Oireachtas Committee. Uh, I was joined today by uh, Sinn Féin MLA uh, Conor Murphy and Phil Flanagan. And what we're doing is we're consulting with both enterprise bodies and unions with regards to what's the best way to develop the All Ireland Economy. And it, it's clear at the very start that the purpose of this All Ireland Economy is to increase wages, to increase paying conditions, to increase living standards and to increase the, the level of public service delivery that we have right around the country, north and south. And one of the most interesting things that we've been learning so far is that to date, unfortunately, both the north and south have been doing business with their backs to each other. And that's creating duplication, which is creating costs, which is making life difficult for people. Benefits nobody, materially or any other way to work in that segregated fashion. There needs to be a joined up thinking with regards to tourism, with regards to agriculture, with regards to health and with regards to enterprise. It, was, it came very clear to us today that the economies of the North West were being really uh, inhibited with regards uh, at the fact that the A6 is not in motorway standard, with regards to the A5 not in motorway standard, that people travel three and four hours from Dublin uh, to Derry and to Letterkenny and with regards to the rail service from uh, Belfast to Derry could take two and a half hours. It's not used by commuters, it's only used by tourists. And the fact that if you, if, if, if you travel from Edinburgh to Glasgow, you have a service every 15 minutes, you might have three or four services from Dublin to, to Belfast. So the, the, the two primary uh, locations for economic development, Dublin and Belfast, on this island, are hardly serviced at all by a proper uh, train uh, uh, service. It shows that you know, it, it, these are not engines of development that they could be.